green. Keep up. Red, why is this happening? Another one of your crazy experiments? This isn't my fault this time. Yeah, likely. Ugh. Green! Taste the rainbow. Hey, this isn't so bad. Yes, yes! This actually feels good! <laughs> Taste the rainbow, Red! Never! There's still time to fix this. I know it! Orange, glad to see you're safe. These rainbow creatures are everywhere. They already got pink and yellow. I don't know how much more of this we can take. Come with me. We'll get to my lab and work on a way to fix all of this. Lead the way! Yeah, what the? Nice try, but you can't escape the rainbow. Orange, no! Let him go. Give me my color back. No! 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 Mmm, pretty tasty. Red, you gotta try this. I should have known you couldn't help but gorge yourself. Very well, I will solve this alone. First green, and now orange. This rainbow monster was going to destroy the rainbow friends one by one if I didn't find a way to stop it. Thankfully, hope arrived with the appearance of purple. Red, down here. Purple, you're alive. That's right. Once the others started going nuts, I took to my vents quickly. You gotta get to your lab, right? To make this all go away? That's the plan. No problemo. It's this way. Follow me. Here we are. Hey, what the? Purple! Give me your cover. Ah! Now, brothers, prepare the feast. The beast had me cornered, but I wasn't about to go down without a fight. Are you ready to accept your fate? No, I won't let you turn me into one of your mindless monsters. You don't have a choice. Take this! Ah! Ah! Red, you saved me! Blue, you're the rainbow monster? That's right. But thanks to you, I'm myself again. Blue, listen to me very carefully. All of the Rainbow friends are still very much in danger. Why don't you tell me what happened, so I can better think of a way to save them. We don't have much time. Well, okay then. It's all my fault, Red. Let me start at the beginning. The other day, when I was doing my daily routine of patrolling, looking for humans to hunt, I passed by all the others. The Rainbow friends were in a really bad place. Everyone's just feeling so bummed out. Sure, becoming a rainbow friend has given them awesome powers, but there's a lot of limitations too. I'll start with myself first. I may be big and strong now, way more so than when I was a pathetic human. I also gained some cool new friends. I even get to spend more time with my sister. But there's a lot of drawbacks. I didn't want to mention it because of green and all, but this button eye of mine, I can't see out of it. My depth perception is all out of whack. Not only that, but this perpetual slobber is really annoying. It's always dripping into my drinks. Disgusting. My body is so big and bulky that I'm always hitting my head on door frames. Not to mention the seats in the theater are super uncomfy. Yeah, being blue is hard. But it's nothing compared to the others, like Orange. I talked to him that day, and he had his own troubles. I used to be big. I could eat and eat and never get tired of eating. Nowadays, I can only eat on a set feeding schedule. Not to mention I'm so small, I have to ask the other taller rainbow friends to reach things for me. I can't even be independent. Sure, I'm a cool dinosaur, and I should be thankful for that. But aren't dinos supposed to be big? I can't help but wonder if there's something that could have been done about this. I wanted to learn more, so I headed to the vents. What's that? You want to know what's got me down? Well, what doesn't? I'm forced to crawl around these vents like a filthy rat. I had enough of the slimy underbelly when I was a human. My whole existence is like a big joke. 
I went to see Green, and his struggles were the most obvious of all. Where do I begin? Well, I'm blind, duh. But also, these short stubby legs and long arms make my balance a nightmare. I feel like one of those wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men you see outside of car dealerships. It ain't easy being green, that's for sure. Everyone had their fair share of problems with being the specific color of rainbow friend that they were. But I thought to myself, if red made us into these things, maybe there's a way we could be made into something else. So I snuck into your lab while you were out having your morning tea, and from there, I got to work. I used the machine to combine my body with the essences of color you keep stored. First, I mixed with green's essence. I emerged from the machine as Cyan, a brand new rainbow friend. First thing I noticed was that my eye was fixed. I also had the long stretchy arms of green, and I wasn't drooling anymore either. It was amazing. But I was still facing green's balance issues, so I decided to take it a step further. I combined myself with the essence of purple. I became a beautiful violet rainbow friend. From here, I assumed the hunch posture of purple, thereby eliminating my top heavy issue. Now I could travel in style. I decided to give the vents a whirl, and boy, I sure could move fast through them. I knew that this was the cure to all of my friends' problems. If I could just get the mixes right, we'd remain ourselves, just without the drawbacks. But, I might have gone a little overboard. I combined myself with all of the colors of the rainbow at once. I had hoped this would morph me into some kind of super being. A small part of me believed it might even make me human again. Instead, I became the rainbow monster you encountered. I had all the colors within me, but that still wasn't enough. I needed everyone else's essence of color too. Only by draining it from them, could I give them the gift of the rainbow. At least, this is what my head was telling me. The colors had completely taken over, and I was more beast than friend. You already know the rest. I took green, orange, and purple's colors already. And I nearly took yours too. Until you saved me. Wait, how did you save me again? Let us in. Come on. You gotta taste the rainbow. It's a gift like none other. The steam from the pipe blew. The water vapors were what returned you to normal. Of course, it's so simple. Hmm, water was the cure all along? So, should we give the other rainbow friends a bath? Exactly. Well, not exactly, but close enough. They'll be through that door in no time. Quick, help me set a fire. What? Are you crazy? Trust me. Okay, if you say so. Aha! We got you now. Huh? Not today. It burns! It burns! Ah! It worked! Everyone's back to normal!